Animals are strange. Like, what do they do all day? Take horses for instance. If you go to the countryside, you can find them zoning out in the middle of roads as if they don't see the cars traveling 90 kilometers per hour. I wonder what they're thinking. Do horses just eat grass and stand around? And sleep while standing around? But the real question is, why shouldn't we eat them? If you think about it, sheep are similar to horses, except they're inferior in every way, but they sleep like normal animals. So why do we eat the sheep and not the horse? What about a donkey? I wouldn't want to eat either of these two, but just looking at them, I feel like the horse tastes better. Why? Does pretty privilege come into question? Why do we eat some animals and not others? Well, I believe there's a few reasons. The most logical one being, if animal useless to human, then animal must be food. Think about it. Animals like sheep and goats are too weak to be of any use to us other than food. You can't tell me this random creature evolved all of these years just to what? Eat grass and shag? And they don't even defend themselves. So clearly, they're here to be devoured by someone. What about cattle? Well, these guys are useful for milk and farming. So we keep them in our farms and put them to work. And when they can't do any more work, we take care of them until they pass away. Just kidding, we eat them as well. It's a win-win scenario for us. What about horses? Horses have been useful in transporting humans for ages, but their owners don't eat them after they become old and tired like they do to cows. Usually, they just get tired of feeding their old horse and just abandon it somewhere far away where it'll end up standing in the middle of some road and... So that's why. This is a worse ending than being consumed. I'm guessing the reason the owners don't eat them is because of the close bond they form with each other. Unlike cattle, people put shoes on their horse and sometimes even clothes. And it's also a source of joy for some to own cool looking horses. So it wouldn't really make sense to eat your horse when it gets old. That'll be like Leonardo DiCaprio eating his girlfriends once they turn 25. It would be a shame to ingest something that you once showed off to the public. Donkeys, on the other hand, have a much harder life. They usually get worked to the grave. Now that we've gotten the brain-dead farm animals out of the way, let's talk about your favorite pets. Dogs. Or cats. These animals differ from the previous ones because they're carnivorous and have personality. So why don't we eat these guys? Dogs are a special case. Their origin is assumed to be from wolves. Early humans domesticated the nice wolves because they couldn't domesticate their not as nice friends. And afterwards, wolves became useful in hunting and breeding livestock. And through years of selective breeding, they became into what we now know as dogs. But there were some mistakes made along the way. Like, what is that? I don't know what they were smoking when they made this abomination. Impossible. But someone should kill it before it eats us. Cats, on the other hand, were slowly introduced into society for mutual benefit. They eat rats that plague our house and we let them stay under our roof. But nowadays, they're the ones plaguing our homes and eating our food for free. Kinda like my girlfriend. Cats and dogs have become sociable and friendly animals, so it wouldn't really make sense to eat them. Unless you're Chinese, Korean, Vietnamese and some other Asian countries, a few groups in Africa and some farmers here and there in Europe. Though I don't want to generalize. These countries have tons of people who find it distressing that cats and dogs are being consumed. So how come people eat them? Well, in ancient times, dogs were sometimes used as emergency food source during wartime and famine. Which I mean, the Russians had to eat each other to survive during the siege of Leningrad against the Germans, so I don't find it hard to believe that people would eat their pets. But now, they just eat them as part of their culture. Dog farms exist in certain parts of the world where people raise dogs for food. But I do have a solution. Let's find all existing versions of this abomination, round them all up nicely and donate it to their farms so they can let go of the animals they have instead. Or people can protest or something, I don't know. Speaking of protests, vegans these days will protest against the slaughter of any animals for food. I have nothing against vegans, but me personally, I wouldn't protest for any animals except dogs, cats, or monkeys. Why monkeys, you ask? Because they're almost human. A chimp's DNA is 98% similar to humans. That's more than what some of my friends have. So it's almost cannibalism to eat monkeys. It seems that people will eat anything if grandma did it first. Hmm. So is there a solid guideline that people use for eating animals? Yes, it's the Bible. The Bible tells us to eat land animals that have completely split hooves and animals that chew the cud. Choose the cud basically means animals that regurgitate their food to chew and swallow it again. These animals include 
cattle, sheep, and goats, but not pigs, rabbits, horses, etc., which are considered unclean to consume. There are also more guidelines which go something like, eat the normal things and don't eat anything weird. I think it's fair to say the religion had a huge impact on our animal consumption. <laughs> and that's it for today. I've been Yellow, at your service. Hehehehe <laughs>